I'm here with Esther from the College of New Jersey. Hey, Esther. Hey. Uh, where are you stationed now? Um, currently, I'm in my home in East Windsor, New Jersey, in Mercer County. It's about Central Jersey and about 30 minutes from my school, TCNJ. Okay. And is the city like under complete lockdown right now or how how are y'all going about it? Um well usually um every hour on the hour our governor likes to tweet a new order that he just signed about um we have to, to go to, into a store we have to wear masks and gloves. We cannot get in if we don't. Um we're not allowed to go outside if it's not for groceries or going to the hospital or to a doctor's. Um, even going for walks right now, a lot of people aren't doing that anymore. Um, they shut down all our parks, even our like, um, like state and county parks. Before they were open for just walking, but they completely shut them down a couple days ago. Um, and yeah, everyone's pretty much just staying inside even stores, um, grocery stores, um, Aldi, it's by my house. Only about like 10 people are allowed in at a time. You have to wait on a line outside to get in. Um, mm -hmm. And my job is shut down. All the non-essentials are shut down. Yeah. 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 All these, that's why I've been going to, um, to the grocery store too. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds a uh, a lot more strict than uh, where I am in Birmingham, though. A lot more strict. <laughs> yeah, people um, were having um quarantine parties for some reason, and so <laughs> people would report them, and then they like got arrested, and you can get a citation, and you have to pay a fee or something. Yeah, uh, people are people are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no quarantine parties though. <laughs> um, so how how is this situation like affected you uh school wise school wise it's been not super rough um i have taken some online classes before um we didn't have to do zoom meetings because they were kind of made to be online um just handing in assignments um yeah. being online um constantly throughout the day i think is just super draining for me um, having to sit on Zoom meetings. I just, I get headaches at the end of the day from staring at my screen for so long. Um, and honestly, I just feel super unmotivated to do a lot of my assignments, like completely honest. <laughs> like being, being in bed at home and not having to like take the time to go drive to school and sit in class, it's been a little rough. <laughs> um. I know at Alabama State, um, they've offered uh, like a chance to apply for a refund on some of the things like um, uh, meal plan and housing. Um, how How is your school going about that? Um, our school, I didn't dorm there. I'm a commuter, but I know that um, if you dormed, you do get um, some type of refund. Um, the same for um, meal plans. For me personally, um, I paid for parking. It was about like $70 for the semester. For a while, they weren't saying anything about if we would get a refund for commuters, but recently they just said that we'd get like half a refund, which is fine. But I'm just glad I got something back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know anyone personally that um, has the virus? Um, that currently has the virus. My mother's work friend has it. Um, she lives with someone else who had it, so that's how she got it. Um, her friend that she lives with got over it, so we're hoping she'll also get over it. Um, my best friend's grandmother's best friend died from it. Um, and then a week after she passed, her husband also passed. So those are mainly people I know who have been largely affected by it. Um, my aunt, she works in healthcare with my uncle. Um, she thought that uh, she had it, but she got tested and she was fine. 
No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's hard to deal with. Praying for those families. Um, how long do you think that this pandemic will last? Um, honestly, when it first started, I didn't think that it would blow up to be this big. Um, yeah. In the U.S. especially. Because yeah. I had ju- I had just planned a vacation for June, and this started um, getting really um, bad in the United States, so that's canceled. So I was hoping it'd be over by June, but honestly, I'm not too sure now. Um, the way things are going, maybe July. Hopefully not. Yeah. Like, do you want some type of summer? <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, that. We yeah. already made spring break. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I honestly have no clue. I'm hopefully July. I know Trump said August, I think, in an announcement, but also he doesn't know what he's talking about half the time, so I don't know. (laughs) Okay, and the last question, um, I know you've been uh, itching to get outside probably. Um, What do you think would be the first thing you do when we can get back to our somewhat normal lives? Oh, I know exactly what it is. I'm going to go get a tattoo. Me and, my <laughs> <laughs> Me and all my friends are going to go get tattoos. I can't wait. Um, yeah, we just have so many things we want to do. We're so sick and tired of being at home. Um, I miss eating out. I took it for granted. <laughs> I miss yeah. going to the beach. Just, I don't know. I miss it all. Oh, my gosh. But we're definitely getting tattoos. That's one of the top things that we are doing immediately. <laughs> that sounds cool. What are you <laughs> thinking about? Matching tattoos or just, um, just a session? I don't know. I was. I, I don't want to get anything too big because my, my family would freak out. <laughs> but I think I just wanted to get something small, like a flower or something, like here or on my arm somewhere. Just something yeah. cute, something different. 